Hey guys, what's up? This is Lord Over 35 and today we are back on the Vega Conflict. Now this video is going to be very short. It's going to be a recap on uh, what I've done um, in the Crossfire event. I know it is a little bit late. I could have made it last night, but I was just so tired after all of the Vega Conflict playing. Um, so I'm going to show you what prizes I ended up collecting from the event. So the first thing I did, I hit 375 and I went for the impulse beam. What I should have done is gone for the bomber squadron right away because that would have made farming with my strategy so much easier, but I went for the impulse beam first. Um, then the next thing that I did was I you, bought the bomber squadron and that made farming so much easier, which is why I wish I got it day one, which is you know when I got the impulse beam or day two maybe early day two um, and then the last thing I got is volatile fuel I would have pushed for volatile fuel three but I realized that this thing was only on battleships and I did I didn't realize that before that's why I wanted it so much but um, so I didn't really want to push for volatile fuel three I mean it is amazing uh, it does 50%, 51% of the weapon mass, though. It's only, like, if you think about it, it's 270 meters per second faster and 100 plus meter range. And the AOE radius on this thing, like, um, Warheads 5 is plus... Ah, it's, it's not even 300. This is better than Warheads 5. And it gives a speed boost. So this thing is already amazing in its own right. Um, so anyways, guys, those are the prizes that I got. Um, and these total combined are about 1 million intel, like 950,000. I think I did the, the math right there. Okay, now let's, let's see. Just to give you an idea of how long I... I possibly played this game. I get about 7,000 loot per 45 hit. It takes me around four minutes to destroy a level 45. Uh, then, you know, travel times a minute back and forth. Repair times, you know, that'll be added in. So about six minutes for 7,000 points. And once I destroy six of those 45s, my base can be attacked. I think it was around there. And when my base gets attacked, Vega just steamrolls the whole entire thing. And, um, yeah, see, my base is designed so that um, these mines actually do something. And when Vega just, you know, like, sit on the mine, be like, oh, whatever, you know, don't even get hurt. And they have so much health and do so much damage, my base just gets smashed. So I get about 3,000 points for that. And there's... <laughs> and that's and that's the idea of how long I had to play this game to get those prizes. But anyways, I got a lot of ideas coming in the future for Vega Conflict. I got a new computer coming in the future. And so we could get non-laggy gameplay. Could you imagine that? Um, maybe even face cams. But we'll get more games. We'll get, we'll get Minecraft. We'll get Bro Force. We'll get Heroes and Generals. We'll get whatever game I feel like playing. And I won't be limited by a slow computer. And I'll get be able to get videos out to you guys faster. Because... You know, it'll edit them faster, it'll produce them faster. So it'll be all good things, and that computer will be coming in two days. But anyways, guys, uh, make sure to leave a like if you liked, and subscribe for more Vega Conflict content in the future. Anyways, that is about it for me, and I will see you in the next video.